In Creo Parametric 12, you can now define a simplified rep without activating it. Let's take a look at what that means. Here I am in an assembly model. Right now, I am currently in the automatic rep, and I want to set up some simplified reps for work that I want to do later, or maybe I want to set some up for my coworkers. So I will go to the Manage Views icon. This opens up the View Manager. One thing that is different in Creo Parametric 12 is that the tabs are now arranged horizontally. They used to be stacked into two different lines. And so if you are a new user, it could be kind of confusing if you clicked on a tab and it changed the order of the tabs at the top. But anyhow, here I am on the Simplified Rep tab. I want to create a new Simplified Rep, so I will click on the New button. Let's create one for our manifold. So I'll give that name as the simplified rep, then hit the enter key. And this opens up the edit dialog box for your simplified rep. And let's see, I decide that I want to have the intake manifold. Let me change it from the default rule of excluding components. I want this one to be in the master rep. Then I will look down in the list. Let's go to the exhaust manifold. And I just want to bring in the exhaust manifold part. So let's click that one and change that one to the master rep. And let's see for context, let me expand the engine body and I will go down to the cylinder head. This one I want to have in the automatic rep. And so there we can see the preview of the simplified rep that I am setting up. Previously, you could click the apply button in order to get it here in the graphics area, or you could click open and this would close the dialog box, then activate it in the graphics area as well. But now there is a new option inside of here. It is the save button. And you'll notice that in the tooltip, it says that it is new. Also, we have this little blue triangle indicating that this is a new option in Creo Parametric 12. And as it tells us, it will save the simplified rep and close the dialog box. The representation is not activated. So let's click on the save button. So now I have my new simplified rep set up. Let's create one more. And I will click on the new button and I'll call it the alternator and then hit the enter key. And once again, we have our edit dialog box. And let's see, let me look in the list here. Let me expand the alternator. And I'm going to go to the subassembly here. Let's set this one to the master rep. And I'm also gonna grab the drives. Let's set that to master rep. And let's grab this one and set it to master rep as well. And so this is good for that work that I want to do. So once again, I will go to the drop down list and choose to save this one instead. So now I've set up two different simplified reps. I can close this dialog box and then let's say I want to do some other work and then I decide that I want to go to those simplified reps. Well, I can go to my view manager and then I will double click the simplified rep that I previously set up and now I have this available for my use. So that is now how you can set up your simplified reps and define them without having to activate them in the dialog box.